in this video we'll walk you through everything you need to know to get started with Nisfire and make the most of your experience so as you scroll down on the website you'll be able to view the plans and pricing for Nisfire so there are essentially three plans starter standard and professional you can choose your plan from here accordingly so once you choose your plan and click on start trial you will be directed to this page where you will be asked to authorize so you should have access to a hubspot portal in order to install once you click on authorize now you will be asked to choose a hubspot account to connect niswire with After this, you will be asked to enter your details like country and your phone number, which you can enter accordingly. Now you will receive a code on the number that you have provided. Please enter it accordingly. Now you will be shown a screen which would ask you to set up a bot and channel details. Please note that Nisfire is only compatible with one channel and one bot. For now, I will continue without adding it. But if you want to add it later on, you can reach out to the support team. Now we proceed towards billing where you will be asked to enter your account information. Which here you can enter your card details to start your free trial. Once you see this, now you can click on let's get started. So now if you come to contacts and if you click on any contact and if you were to scroll down here you will be able to view the Nisfire card hi in this video i wanted to talk about the settings tab that you can view under the Nisfire crm card so in order to do so, come to contacts, search for any HubSpot contact, click on the contact. Now if you were to scroll down, you can view the Nisfire CRM card and under the action drop down menu, you can view the settings tab. If you were to open the settings tab, you can view these four options. User management, billing, subscription management and help and support. Now under user management, you can view your phone number and your plan. And if you were to see here, if you are an admin, you can choose users and make another admin or just add users accordingly now one thing to note here is that if you want to add more users on same phone number then dollar 20 will be charged but if you want to add another license using another phone number altogether then you can see that it will prompt you to enter details here and as you add as per the current plan that you are using the new license would be charged accordingly if you were to see down here there are two options create contact and sync deals so in create contact if this is unchecked so whenever any unknown telegram user messages you on telegram their number won't be saved as a contact on your hubspot but if you were to check this then any message any incoming message from any unknown telegram user will get saved as a contact in hubspot the option right below says that you can sync conversation of hubspot contacts on deals timeline so if, if you were to see here any deals that are associated with this contact can be seen here so there are 13 deals can click on it and view it on the timeline accordingly if you were to click on the next tab which is the billing tab here you can view your invoices the next payment that is due the, the date as well 
in subscription management you can select any user and you can cancel subscription for them or you can upgrade or downgrade your plan accordingly in the help and support tab if you are facing any sort of issues this is the place for reaching out to customer support hi in this video i'm going to talk about how you can send a personal one to one message to a contact via nswire so come to the contacts page and search for any contact once you open the contact navigate to the nswire crm action drop down menu here as as shown click on actions click on send a personal message you will be able to view the chat so this is where you can type in your message you can also add in attachments if you want and you can also select a user from whom the message will go from so that is how you can send a one on one personal message hi in this video i'm going to show how you can send a group message via nswire so on hubspot come to contacts search for any contact once you open the contact navigate to the nswire crm card and click on action click on send a group message now you'll be able to view all the existing telegram groups that your telegram number is present in if you were to upgrade to a professional plan what you essentially will be able to do is if i were to click on a group and initiate a conversation like so this group name will get saved as a contact in hubspot let me show you as you can see this that group name has been created as a contact in hubspot and all the messages that you send will get synced here and you'll be able to view it you can also view the actions if you were to click it will only prompt you to send a group message as this is a group that was all about sending group messages on telegram using nswire Hi in this video I'm going to show how you can create a campaign on Nswire. So in order to begin first you will have to create a list from within HubSpot which you can do by clicking CRM and then list and you will be shown on the screen. You can add filters as per your requirements and create lists on which you can run campaigns using Nswire which I'll show you how. So come to contacts and search for any contact on HubSpot. Navigate to the Nswire CRM action drop down card. Click on start campaign. So you will be shown a screen as such. So here you will be able to create a template. This is the template name. and the template message that you can write and these are all the previously created templates that you will be able to see so i have created a template with the name and the message here what you also can do is insert a place holder so if you want to personalize your message you can say hi first name so this is a contact property from hubspot now you can accordingly create a template here you can view the campaign that you have created here in order to run a campaign you have to click on run campaign you can essentially create a list as per filter and run a campaign on them accordingly so you can select the templates 
that you have previously created so your message will be shown here and then you can select an upspot list and run that campaign on them accordingly now if you see here you will be able to see two options send now if you click on send you will be immediately able to send your campaign to the list that you want to send but if you do not want to send the campaign immediately you can alternatively also schedule it so if you click on this you will be able you will be asked to select a date or time from the calendar now in order to view your existing campaigns you can simply click on campaigns and you'll be able to see the list of all your existing campaigns here Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can view campaign reports on Nesfire. So search for any contact on HubSpot. Once you open the contact, navigate to the Nesfire CRM card. Click on action. Click on start campaign. Now you'll be able to see the screen and if you click on campaigns, you will be able to see the list of your campaigns. Now, if you click on details, you can view the screen. So it essentially has these details. For example, the number of contacts that are enrolled, when was the last, last time this com campaign was processed, to how many contacts it was sent, how many messages were failed, and if you enable only, then the campaign will run, and so on and so forth. Now, if you want to view a more detailed campaign report, you can click on the campaign report here, as you can see. So in this screen, you will be able to view a more detailed performance of your campaign. So for example, the number of campaigns that were run and the duration in which they were run. The number of messages sent who became opportunity people who showed some level of interest in your product or your service and contacts who became paying customers total messages sent the success sent rate of those messages number of uh, deals created so the number of sales opportunities that were generated in a particular time period and the number of deals won or closed you can also view a date a more consolidated uh, campaign wise performance of all your campaigns here as well now if in case you have difficulty understanding any terminology you can click on this button and it will have the definition of all the terms that i mentioned and how they are calculated if you want to download your report you can click here and download it as well